I mean, Troy, you were going to be here either way, right? If, uh, if you were in Washington or Nebraska. Different but, pin. <laughs> different pin, but yeah, I, but, I, I mean, you got to be either way. What's it like just to, to, to finally come to one of these meetings? You know a lot of the people here already. Um, how much yeah. fun has it been? No, I, I, I know most of the people, and I've been in this building a lot of times. Uh, but it's, it's neat to be here in this capacity. Uh, and I, I, I actually love to hear Matt speak. You know, he gets, he gets me fired up, he gets me excited. And I'm already pretty excited. I, I don't think I've ever, this is, I think, football season 18 for me. Mm -hmm. Never look forward to one as much as I'm looking forward to this one. But this is what really gets it started. What's the thing that you look forward to most? Why, why do you say that? I want to see what that stadium is like. I, you know, I, I've been in it. I've never been in it for a game. You know, this, this, is, this is one of the bastions, the cornerstones of college football in Lincoln, Nebraska. And to be a part of it and, and be able to have some ownership in it. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. I want to see what it's like. I want to feel that energy inside the stadium that Matt's been talking to me about since I got here. You know, I know it might not be the way you envisioned in January, but to be here and to see that W on the board, um, you know, is there a level of satisfaction that you can take from being here and, and seeing that job completed? You know, uh, when, when I got there, I think uh, it's been about 45 days since the announcement. And, and so, uh, the four schools were involved in all the meetings along the way over the course of the last year. And, and I think the Big Ten did a great job of involving and including. And, and you, while you weren't voting on anything, you know, your, your say well, was, was being heard. So there's been a great job by the league of integrating all four schools. Uh, it, it, it'll be exciting. Uh, you know, I, I know what the, the, the buzz was on campus. The athletes at Washington were looking forward. You know, this is a whole different set of venues, a whole different set of experiences, and everybody's really looking forward to this this opportunity. And Matt just said it's it's a great league, and and it's it is the NFL. It spreads from one end of the country to the other end of the country, and there's going to be a lot of very different experiences for people. Uh, a lot of our kids get to go to California and play in Southern California. It's a different world. It's something maybe we've never experienced. What fires you up about hearing him talk when, when you listen to those 15 minutes? Well, I, I've said this, I think Matt's as good at the podium as, as anyone you see. Because he has a broader, he's not just a football coach. You know, he's, he's a mentor to a lot of the other coaches uh, on our staff. He's involved and, and has an understanding of how everything that happens in the football program affects every other sport. He's got good relationships with other coaches. So when you, when you sit there and listen to him talk about the academic and the education, it not, he's not talking about because he's at the podium, he believes it. And it's a reason inside the department everybody rallies around coaching a leader like that when his interests are the interests of everyone in the department. Troy, Troy uh, lots talk of talk about roster sizes in the future. And obviously it's a bigger deal in Nebraska than most places. Yeah. Where where are you at on that? What do you know and, and what are your hoping what are your hopes for future roster sizes? Well, you know, the Big Ten in general has wanted larger roster sizes. You know, we've the, well, Nebraska in particular, but a lot of the Big Ten schools have really built themselves on, on walk-on programs over the years. However, and I said this to Mitch a, a week ago, I'm not, I have not gotten too worked up. Matt's not gotten too worked up because the year before COVID, roster sizes by the NCAA were, were regulated at 110. And that's how many could come into camp was 110. So we grew to 105, or 115 and 120 for two reasons. One, COVID to have more kids with COVID going through. And then secondly, with the 60 year kids, the extra COVID kids. So we were still able to recruit high school kids in the same numbers. So we're used to roster numbers that are a little smaller. Even while we have a 140 going through summer workouts, the current rule is 120. So we're always gonna have to make cuts when camp starts. It's just a matter of where do those, where do those numbers end. And I said this, the details, the, the number is inconsequential as much as the details of how that number is derived. And does that number last throughout the year? Can we still have our 140? Can we still build that program and then come into camp with, with you know, basically a cut? And, and, you know, we've all gone through cuts. Uh, but can we still do that? Those are the questions I don't know the answers to.